All right, guys, so DIY time once again. Uh, today is stupidly nice out. 73 degrees currently. I saw the temperature and said, good day for a video. Going to camp. Well, then the rain percentage just kept going up. So, at like... 8 30 it rained for like two minutes max hasn't rained again doesn't look like it's going well i don't know it's a little cloudy i guess maybe but really nice would have been awesome to be camping somewhere but not a total loss because i'm going to build something that i actually need and i've wanted to build for a while um folding camp grill like this. Um, 20 bucks. $20. Yeah. But I have the material. So. I am saving the 20 bucks building it. Um, in my opinion, even if it only takes an hour, it's going to be... You know, not so much worth it for 20 bucks. But, like I've said before, I like building my own stuff. Um, a buddy of mine bought one from Walmart. And I want to say it was like 29 bucks there. And it's already, like, noticeably warped. And it doesn't sit flat at all. So, I'm sure it's probably the thinnest material you can find. Uh, got to see what I got laying around. I do believe I have some angle somewhere. And I got some mesh for the top, which for anyone that's watched any of my other videos, um, three videos ago, I think, I built one of the little swivel grills. Um, I still got that whole piece of that expanded metal left, so I can use that. Uh, I got to figure out some legs. Uh, yeah. Should be fairly simple. It's just a square with legs. Um... So yeah, if you're into the swivel grills or just, you know, DIY stuff, go back a few videos. You can watch that. Uh, I tested it last video. See how it worked out. Yeah, it works. I'm going to tweak it a touch. But I can say this one is pretty straightforward. Um, I just got to round up some materials, see what all I got. I'm kind of a hoarder, so I got, like, stuff laying everywhere, so... It might be a few different items used to construct it, but for anybody that's watched my videos, you know I'm not that concerned with uh, a lot of things other than functionality. Is that, that's a word, right? Functionality. It sounds right, but not coming out. But yeah, I just want it to work. So my main goal is going to be get it to set level and be strong enough. So let me look around, round up some supplies, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, there it is. Thought that was in there. I have not a single clue what that even is. There's that piece of expanded metal. That's the corner I cut off of the other grill. You have to use that. Another one of these mystery pieces. That was way louder than it should be. So I'm thinking, if nothing else, I feel like that would make a leg. Like it's already got a curve. Drill a hole up here. I'm thinking just somewhere in the middle here, just cut out a big old section. And just bring that leg over, right? Just make it the width I need. Got two of them. So that would be like the, the folding legs. I actually don't have as much expanded metal as I thought I would, or uh, expanded metal, angle iron, as I thought I would. It's like eighth inch thick. By like one by one which would be pretty good but 
So that piece, the little piece, which, I mean, that could be a side. I mean, it only has to be, you know, like, I don't know, 16 inches maybe. Just have to fit like a skillet that way and then two that way. So maybe about like, I don't know, 16 by 24. So kick that, I guess. This piece too, but it's not the same size. I shouldn't care because it doesn't matter, but if a touch of OCD. So we're dealing with this guy. That's 13, so that would definitely be one side. And if I go twelve. There, that would be the other side. When I say 24, there is 24. And there is not 24, that's only 14. Okay, well, in typical me fashion, I was uh, making this too big and overthinking it. So these are the two skillets that I normally always use at camp, right? And these are sitting on this cast iron uh, griddle with ease. Plenty of room. So, this is 20 by 10 and a half. So I could go like 11 and have plenty. And then this way, I could even do 18 and have plenty. Even at 18, these are still going to sit on here with this, right? And this half or this inch by inch angle will go foot and go like 19, 18 ish. Start again from there. 19 ish that uses that one little piece that one stick and I got plenty of room for two skillets as you can see that would be sufficient enough so that's the new plan okay got us some grinder action going with the cord flavor this week all right who wants to see me uh, roll around on the floor again? This is going to be terrible. Okay, so uh, I did a little double checking. The base of my biggest skillet's only nine inches. I'm going to go like ten and a half. So ten and a half on here. This whole floor situation's already annoying. I really got to build myself some kind of a table. Okay, there's one. Also, here we go again with tiny cutoff wheels. 19 and... 19 and 5 eighths. All right? Would that be half? I don't know what I said. 19 and... Yeah. 19 and 5 eighths, sure. Can't feel my left leg. So I think what I'm gonna do, just like last time, is notch these. That way this, every piece of this sits flat together. And then that sits down nice and flush and flat the whole way around this, right? So mark on there, that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner. I think we're gonna need a slightly better cutoff wheel for this part. Eh, good enough. Little, uh, what's the saying? Little, um, 
Grinder and paint will make you the welder you ain't. Oh yeah, that's money. That is, that's exactly what I'm looking for, I think. I don't know, I don't even know what I'm doing. See uh, how we fit up here. I'm gonna say for first attempt, probably not great. Eh, it's a little crooked. But that's, I man's pretty much what I'm going for. Way will sit nice and flat in the corners. That dang it definitely looks out of square, but I'm gonna kind of wiggle it around here, get it squared up as best I can, throw a few tacks on it, get it where I want it. Be pretty much our framework done. Well, frame framework, cooking area, grill top, whatever. Well, I'm feeling extra lazy this week, so uh, I'm gonna attempt to just. Put it all together without grinding it because I don't feel like it. This piece here, mm, not so good. This stuff here is pretty clean. So, see how poorly this turns out. Start over here on the clean side first. How about that? I wish, oh wait, I do have a, uh, what do you call them? The um, square right angle. That thing. What's that called? A right angle? A 90? I don't know. Whatever it is, I got one. I'm going to see if that will help. I'm going to say no. But, I may have said this to you guys before. I'm not what you would call a fabricator. Alright, let's try this one on for size. The old squint eyes welding helmet. Bottom corner going here. Oh, easy. Yeah, we'll have a little bit of a gap on this one, but it'll be all right. I could probably use some uh, practice on bottom gaps, anyways. That's uh, not what I wanted to do. I didn't even think about this not being aluminum. Oh yeah, this was the ticket. I should have used this last time because that's. That's square. Man, somebody should have told me about that. That thing's handy. I better give it one more for good measure. Just gonna measure this, transfer to there, cut it out. Ten and a half, that's what we need. 19.5. Perfect. I'm not entirely sure what my obsession is with pointing this right at my own body. But I am bound and determined to catch myself on fire again, which I've done twice in the last two days in a row, so I'd rather not make it three if possible. That piece is hot and sharp now. See how poorly this is. Huh. That, I don't feel like I can get a whole lot better. You can see that, can you? Give myself plenty side to side, which it's kind of hugging that side more, but it went down in nice and like snug. Snugger than I kind of wanted it to, but yeah. I think that's going to do just fine. Couldn't do it anymore. Had enough of that floor. So I got me a terrible makeshift welding table here out of some old tires and uh, this other piece of expanded metal. But I can sit up and do this now. So let's see how bad we can catch some tires on fire. All right, this is gonna be a really good way to get hot sparks straight in my lap. Okay. Guess that ground right there is just not good enough. I was touching it, but let's try this again. Here we 
like to just lean my arm straight on one of these really hot corners here in a second. Yo! Oh yeah. That's sturdy. There's one thing I've never claimed to be as good at it, but... Oh, don't look at that one. That one's a special dog. Bad, yeah, bad. All bad. Great. So, uh, I don't know. Look at that. It's, uh, it's poop. That could probably use a cleaning too. Not gonna do it. In case anybody was wondering if that was hot on my hand, yes. Squeeze it right down in there nice and flat. Yeah. Should have just spent 20 bucks. But that was 20 bucks on Amazon. You know Amazon is not going to be this quality. Well, this isn't really quality. But I still feel like it's going to be better than Amazon or Walmart or somewhere. Right? Sure. That got her. <laughs> that is necessary in this situation. Okay, that's that. I do believe. So, let's figure out the legs. I'm still thinking. I'm gonna use this goofy looking um, stuff. I don't, I don't know how well it's gonna work. I just like how it's got the the bends on it because if I cut this and bring the other side over where it makes a U, just weld it back together and put a little strip in here. It should be pretty strong and I don't know, something. I guess if nothing else, probably notch, like cut these sides off and put it on the outside. 11 and a quarter ish wide, I think. So I'm gonna do, looks like 11 and a quarter, but that's probably not right. So I'm gonna cut this around like six. Cut the other one like six. I'm gonna butt them up, they're 12. That way I can trim them down if I need to. Then just walk it back together right in the middle to make each leg, because I got two of these. So I'm gonna try that. That's kind of what I'm going for is to kind of weld those back together. Oh, that's way too wide, but I can definitely cut it off. I didn't want to cut it too narrow. Okay, so anyways, now I'm gonna trim some more off these and notch those. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that's kind of what I was going for. If what I said made any sense, I feel like I'm not the best at explaining things, but I'm still gonna do this one. But my plan is, is if that's notched, I'll clean that up a little bit. This way I can uh, have more room for this to pivot here where it's not hitting this lip. Once this is you know, welded back together, I'm doing the same thing. So I'm gonna do this again on the other leg. Okay, so that's both of those now. What the, what did I do? Hmm. Well, I don't know why I did that, but for some reason I cut way more off one than the other, if you can see that, but I didn't want to do that. So now, what I'm going to do, instead of measuring, because I don't want to do that, hold them up to the side here, figure out where I want them to be exactly. I can 
be easier if I just measure it. I'm just going to make a straight line like that. Straight down those two. I'll cut those, butt them back together, and it should be way off. Okay, excess trimmed. See how far off we are now. Yeah, just gonna clean that up, weld that back together. I don't know if I should put a little like a strip in there to gusset it. Probably wouldn't hurt. I don't see why that wouldn't work just fine, honestly. These uh, legs are turning out to be a lot more work than I thought they'd be. But pretty sturdy, I feel like. All right. There's two. Pretty well identical legs. Now I'm just going to figure out how exactly I'm going to attach them, right? Alright, that's, that's pretty much what I'm going for. It's got vice grips holding the legs on for now. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Not amazing, but it will do the job, that's for sure. I think what I'm going to do is just get these in the exact same spots on both sides. Drill a hole, nut and bolt. Maybe double nut if I need you to keep them cinched tight. That way it's not like flopping around. Let's get some holes drilled. Finish this thing up. The best way I can figure to get them kind of even, side to side on both sides, I'm going to measure from the edge of this to the point, the corner. So what I did is come over here, get an inch and three sixteenths. Come over here, inch and three sixteenths. Got about the same amount sticking up. That way it's kind of like... That doesn't make sense. Ignore that last part. See if it works. I don't know. It's metal. If it doesn't work, I'll weld the holes up and drill new holes. I like working with metal a lot more than wood. You can't weld wood. I'm going to say good there. One bit of advice I would give, and I'm no one to give advice, but... I heard this and I tried it. When you're drilling, instead of just wide open, shoving as hard as you can, just keep like a nice smooth speed. I always heard that the drill bit don't even get hot and I've literally done that. Put it out and grab it, like not hot. Definitely makes your drill bits last longer too. Stepping up on the bit size now. Well, two days later, still drilling out holes. But, it's kind of easier this way, I guess, just going one step at a time. So now what I probably ought to do is try to find like four halfway decent matching bolts. That way I know what size I'm even going to. I wasn't looking right at it. I wouldn't believe it. But I found four matching bolts. So, now I'm going to find four matching nuts. That's where it's going to get me. But I'm glad I stopped when I did because these are just about through. Because I don't want them really wallered out. So, four bolts, check. Alright, well today's my lucky day. I'm going to buy lottery tickets. Found four matching bolts. The nuts don't match. I don't care about that. But I found four nuts that match. Two washers, each one, and four more nuts that match. Because I'm thinking I'm going to double nut each one. That way the nut's not backing off every time it pivots because I know that's what's going to happen. So now we're just going to make those fit down in there, which I think those just need a little job. Let's give one of these. 
It's a little one. Just a little, little bit, a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna do that three more times. That's what I was afraid of. So I'm pretty sure I got eight nuts out because I'm gonna double nut them kind of snug. That way they're stiff the whole way, right? So when they're right on there, it's not gonna do this, which it still might do, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's, that's getting better. Okay. So, that's, I'm just going to show you. Double nutted, all four corners. All right. Now they are smooth, but stiff. So now, I don't actually think they'll fold like, like that's, a lot of my weight on it and they're not like pancaking like earlier so i'm pretty pleased with that actually plenty of room like even gap in the middle so that worked out pretty well and like I said it's strong like it doesn't really feel like it's given. I don't think I need to put anything in here. I mean, I, obviously it wouldn't hurt to gusset it. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think it's stiff enough to where if the fire's kind of low, I can even lay it down and it's still like pretty, pretty solid. You could even like make like little feet down here, like put bolts from like that would dig into the ground. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would say a majority of the time, I'm literally just going to sit it over the fire just like that, and it's going to be completely fine. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. I need to trim these off, but I mean, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But, uh, yeah. That uh, took longer than I expected. But, no regrets. I like it. I've been wanting to build one of these for years, and it's handy, because I don't have one. Usually I just take my cast iron and stick it like on the fire. So, this will give me a little more options. Um, yeah. So I only like all the ones you buy fold flat, but I wasn't really concerned with that, as you could tell. I just kind of threw it together. Because that will definitely just sit in the back of something. I mean, they don't fold flat that way. But obviously, they fold flat this way. I mean, that's still flat. That would sit behind the seat of a truck, under my bed, whatever. So, yeah. I don't really love the legs necessarily. They don't really turn out like I envisioned them. But they're also fine. Like, I don't, I don't really see much of anything wrong with that. So yeah, I think it will do what I need it to do. If it does end up flopping down, so I can make a stopper of some sort, but I think the double nut trick is going to do just fine. A couple of those were lock nuts, and the fire is definitely going to melt them. Is it nylon? In a lock nut? Maybe. But if it does and it gets a little loose, I can just snug them right back down and be good to go. So yeah. Another uh, project complete. If I was like actually a fabricator or knew what I was doing or had a better plan, I probably could have done that in half that time. But still, works for me. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's that. I think I'm gonna do this week is go test it out. I need to think of a good recipe, something really different, maybe cook on there so yeah if you want to see it tested out tune in next week i don't know where i'm going yet but I'll figure that out and take you guys along for the ride but for now thanks for watching